Happy Friday, everybody. Today's episode is dedicated to all of my Florida State friends and family out there who have been supportive of us since the very beginning and are constantly asking, why do you not make Florida State button covers yet? And it comes down to licensing. When we first started Alter, we decided to target the collegiate market because we were competing in the second largest university in the country um, in their business plan competition. And it was also a $4.6 billion industry. Uh, plus we were building a product that was relatively new where the kind of fanatic fan base would really give us the push we needed to try out our uh, collegiate button covers. So we set out to apply for licensing with the collegiate licensing company, the CLC. And the way it works for a startup company is you have to apply for a local license first. This means you get to pick one state and you get to pick up to three schools within that state. So we applied for UCF, University of Florida, and Florida State University. And initially we reached out to all of the schools just to make sure we could get feedback. They were aware that we were going to be applying. And uh, UF was gave us a lot of really great feedback. UCF was wonderful to work with. Um, and we found out six months later that we were approved by UCF and we were denied by both UF and Florida State. Since we had been talking with UF beforehand, we decided to go ahead and make uh, 5,000 units of button covers for UF. Also because schools like UF and Florida State require final samples when you submit your application. And as I mentioned in our manufacturing video, to create even just a sample requires a new mold be made, which costs us $2,000. So it just made the most sense to uh, take advantage of it and make the button covers in bulk so that way we could sell them once we were approved. Unfortunately, when you are denied by a school, you have to wait one year before you can reapply. So I went into panic mode when we were denied by UF and we had 5,000 units of button covers uh, ready to sell that now we had to sit on for another year. Um, so I talked with them. They gave us a lot of really great feedback a lot of great insight, whereas Florida State, we emailed as well, but they, they never responded. They never gave us any um, insight into how we can improve. And so um, we were happy to be working with U UF. They were wonderful. They got the CLC to cut down the time to six months, and then they gave us approval for a trial run. Um, however, keep in mind, we applied in July of 2012 and did not get approved for UF until July 2013. So that is a solid year of sitting on inventory that we could not sell, that we had just invested a lot of money in. And of course that following year just happened to be UF's worst season than I think they've ever had. So it was kind of some misfortune there. Um, so we couldn't apply for, for Florida State because we had been denied, we had to wait a year, but then we were looking to apply for USF. We had a lot of demand from there and, and other schools in the state of Florida. Unfortunately, you cannot apply for a fourth school until you have been approved for a solid year. So we had to wait a while. And then when we were approved by UF, we actually got a call from Rutgers University and their licensing department. They loved our product. They wanted to use them for their boosters. We were um, ready to get the ball rolling and uh, they asked us to submit an application. And we went to go do that. And the CLC came back and was like, sorry, no, nope, can't pass. Uh, because we had only had our local license for about six months at this point. And so we could not apply for out of state until we had been approved again for a year. So our option was to either just say no to Rutgers, who was ready to buy a bunch of inventory, or cancel our existing licenses that we had just spent a year to get and apply for the state of New Jersey. So clearly we decided to say sorry, Rutgers, and keep our licenses so we could sell our product that we have. Um, another we hurdle we ran into with licensed products it was the bookstores, and that's because most bookstores on college campuses are owned by corporate organizations, uh, primarily BNN College or Barnes and Noble College, and they require a minimum of three years of sales before they will put you in their bookstore. Uh, so now we have all this inventory. We have an in with the second largest university in the nation, yet the university can't even get us into the bookstore because it's owned by corporate and they have a contract with them. So the first year was really difficult, especially since we couldn't be making uh, custom, small quantity custom covers. Uh, we did not know about this printer technology yet. So 
the first year with the collegiate market was really tough because we kept running into the issue of you can't get approved until you can have a proof of sales, but we can't sell anything until we're approved. So it's the chicken and the egg type thing. And it was kind of just a lot of headache. And I always recommend because people will come to me with ideas and want to ask about licensing and they're headstrong about doing a licensed product. And I always say, don't do it, especially if it's a startup business that and it's a new product, don't do it because you have no proof of possible sales from existing products and you're a startup. So try going into another market or doing just like the colors of the university. Uh, there's a lot le less restrictions and just tr try to avoid the licensing route as long as possible because it's expensive and it's, it's a lot of headache and it's really tough and you have to make a, a lot of big investments a lot of times to get in with these schools. However, on the positive note, having uh, a license with the CLC is a huge uh, plus for us. It makes us a lot more valuable because now we do have access to apply for these other schools. However, we are kind of treading lightly. We want to make sure we're um, fully prepared and we have interest from these certain schools and uh, plan it out before we kind of just dive headfirst like we did before into uh, the collegiate market. So. Always consider, I mean, again, this was an industry that we had done our research. It made sense to go into this market, but these were kind of unforeseen circumstances that we didn't realize until we were into it already. And uh, licensing just isn't conducive to a startup um, company. And so I always recommend trying another avenue and testing it out. That way you have some proof to show to these larger schools. So best of luck. I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys next week.